This is uh, the way I can connect the screen of the AirSpy cable to the network analyzer. I set the electrical delay to balance the capacitance of the uh, that arrangement. It is an antenna at microwaves, but by turning this up something like that. Uh, then I add the AirSpy cable. Like this. And then the cable is routed to the computer. And this is to simulate that the screen of the USB is grounded to something big. And of course these chassis are connected capacitively to each other. And what I see on the screen is this. The impedance at uh, 81 megahertz is only 28 ohms. Uh, on the FM band, let's say 91 megahertz, it is 110 ohms. That's not a very high impedance, uh, but uh, it's some impedance that is going to limit the current into the air spy. The current caused by the low impedance voltage source between the USB screen and the box of the air spy. This ferrite from material 43 with two turns through it uh, gives this result. And you see it's out of scale on all frequencies below uh, something like, what is it, below 300 megahertz. But at 500 megahertz uh, it is no isolation at all because of the big capacitance between the two wires that go through it. Uh, this uh, will solve problems with the airs by picking up uh, FM and other stuff uh, in case you don't want to modify the unit. This is where it comes from. And it is this one. And the data sheet says 235 ohms at 100 megahertz. And it's two turns, so it should be four times that. And that is, uh, what could it be, 900 ohms or something like that. And when I change the scale on the network analyzer, you can see that the impedance is in the 800 ohm range at 100 megahertz. Maybe it's one kilo ohm marker, 300. 100 megahertz, it says uh, 850 ohms.